I genuinely think that the landscape that you surround yourself in is what um, inspires your soul. It's like who we are as people. My name is Isabella Day and I'm a goldsmith. I make all my work that you see in the studio and I work in gold, silver, palladium, platinum, any precious metal and gemstones. My mum's a candle maker and when I was a little girl she had a part-time job in a uh, bead shop and so I used to sit and play with the beads and make little necklaces and stuff. And I was always really interested in craft and I did an art and craft A level and then I went and did a degree in contemporary arts, uh, got my qualifications, set up a little business, just had a little market stall in Birmingham and still did lessons with a master goldsmith because I feel like it's really important you're always learning in craft, you're never done. <laughs> So when we talk about gold, most people just think gold is gold, but actually the way that we sell gold in the UK is in 18 carat and 9 carat form mostly. Pure gold is 24 carats, uh, 18 carat gold is 75% gold and the rest is other metal. So for example with rose gold you'll have uh, an addition of copper and silver and so what you do is you take all your fine elements, so the gold and the palladium and whatever, mix it all up to a certain temperature and pour it into an ingot mould and then you've got a piece of metal that you can work with which we call an alloy. So when I first started making jewellery I thought it would be this really creative thing to do and it is but actually most of jewellery making is maths, chemistry and patience and precision. I really like the idea of really understanding how the metal works, what, it's, what it does, what things are part of what alloys that I make and how to turn it into something that someone can wear that's still a piece of art really. I make one-off pieces for people, bespoke pieces, um, wedding rings, engagement rings, fancy birthdays, 50th, stuff like that, or just I love you presents, heirloom presents, um, so people have inherited jewellery and I melt it down into something that they love. It's maybe got nice stones in, it's lovely gold, so we can melt it down, remodel it into something beautiful and then you have something you can wear forever instead of just being in a drawer. So I've come from Birmingham in the Jewellery Quarter and I had a studio there for a few years and I love being here because I'm surrounded by other craftspeople and that's real huge inspiration just to get to chat with them and learn, bounce ideas off them and things. I live in Brixham and I travel to work every day and see the sea and the beautiful hills and I can look across to Dartmoor and I come down the lanes to Cockington and I just feel so moved by that landscape and I think the people here are so, it's just a gentle, lovely way of being and way of life that I really, really adore.